pest fish present a huge problem for our native freshwater plants and animals. So come with me as we go fishing for some of the worst offenders and find out why they are such trouble. G'day guys. How you going? Very well. Off with some pest fishing? That's for sure. Right, am I allowed to get on? <laughs> Jump in. Yahoo! Whoa. Me in the middle? Yep. That's me. The main problem with pest fish is that they're both a symptom and a cause, but they get into a lake and they can breed up into huge numbers and, and for them a, a um, sort of a lake under stress or a, a polluted lake is, is great and our native fish can't really hack it so well. And um, they basically disturb the bottom and cycle the nutrients and keep returning it into the water column um, until basically it's only a place that algae can live and the pest fish themselves, so they lower the biodiversity values. How does DOC manage the pest fish problem? The main aim of the strategy really is to contain them to um, just the isolated parts of New Zealand as much as possible to prevent the spread. Um, and then in some high value areas like here, try and undertake some control to minimise their impact. Why is Lake Serpentine here a high value area? Basically it's one of the best lakes in the Waikato region. It's one of the last lakes um, with aquatic plants in it still. Even more amazingly, it's all completely native plant species, so that makes it very um, unique, actually, in the Waikato region. Kev, I, uh, I had a bit of bad luck with the pest fishing, and all I caught was this weed. Well, that, that's not a, not a weed. That's the native macrophyte that we're trying to save here. So this is good, and that's why we're doing the fish removal from the lake so that this stuff can grow up and won't be chewed by them. Right, and so this would normally provide a habitat for a whole lot of native oh, invertebrates exactly. and fish as well. Why does this lake have only native plants in it? About 25 years ago the PEP scheme came in and they actually planted and fenced this lake and that was one of the very few lakes that that happened. So there was a buffer very early on put, put on this lake, so uh, we're very pleased that they did that. Waikato region in particular is, um, is really special because of its wetland areas. What's happened with a lot of them? I like most of the country, that's, um, they've come under a lot of pressure from land development and we've lost a lot through, through drainage and then also contamination of the wetlands through nutrient increases from fertilisers and, and cattle and the like. What are some of the benefits that come from having a, a wetland on your, on your property? It's often said that they're the kidneys of the land, that they actually play a, a really big um, important part in reducing nutrients that are coming from sort of intensive land use. And they also help remove things like faecal contamination, so if you remove wetlands you end up with a muddier catchment overall. But there's a lot of native birds, things like mudfish, wetlands for them are their home, so worth protecting. Two thirds of New Zealand's freshwater fish are introduced species, some of which have a devastating effect on our waterways. We all rely on clean water for health, environment and recreation, so the more pest fish we get rid of, the better for all of us. <laughs> 